hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is brianna and here on my channel we do fashion fragrance and lifestyle so if that's something that you're interested in go ahead and click that subscribe button and let's jump into the video so today we're going to be doing a luxury wish list now let me say i never thought that i would be the girl who would want luxury things luxury items let alone have a list so I've compiled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different things on my luxury wish list. And I'm just like, when did I become that girl? When did I become that girl? But we're here now, so I'm ready to share with you my wish list. So we're going to go with the first thing that has been on my list forever. Today has, or no, this year has been the third year that it's going to be on my vision board and that is a dior saddlebag i'm gonna put a picture of each item that i'm talking about on each side but in particular i'm talking about the ultra matte black dior saddlebag with all black hardware all black everything that has been on my freaking vision board forever y'all i swear on everything i'm gonna get that bag one of these years one of these years, hopefully it's this year, because we're making some big career moves. Hopefully it's going to be on my shoulder, not on the wish list, on my shoulder. But I just think it's so freaking cute. I don't even know if they, like, have it anywhere. Probably nowhere around me. I'd probably have to go to, like, Houston or something um, to try to get it, because there's no luxury places here. Or, if anything, I'll just order it online. But, y'all, I need this bag. I can just imagine myself with it. Like, I can see it. I can picture it. I need it the second thing on my list is the Christian Dior tote bag as you can see here I don't know if I want just the regular navy one or if I want the one that has the black lettering I'm not sure I go for black all the time so I'm feeling like I want one with the navy lettering so that I can try to venture out a little bit but I heard and I think I'm pretty sure I'm like 85% sure that these bags are customizable. I will put my name on that bag so fast. So freaking fast, y'all. Listen, I'll be out there and I wouldn't carry it like a normal bag. I'll be... Would you... Hey, girl. How are you? Like, the bag will be in my hand, okay? Like, that would be my hand bag, okay? I'll be popping that thing every day. Do you hear me? And it's big enough for... And every day too yeah best believe i need it the next item that i have on my wish list is the Givenchy knife boots pop a picture it's gonna be somewhere i need them i just feel like if i wear an all black outfit really form-fitting a nice long sleeve black top like the one i have from snood if you haven't seen it it's gonna be up above so you'll be able to look at it a long black sleek shirt with some nice tight legging type pants maybe some from i don't know i don't know where from but i can just imagine the outfit in my head with those boots and listen with the saddle bag what the freaking saddle bag do you hear me i need it i need it because i could just picture it in my head like the outfit is just like mm, it's just there i need it asap 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 like ti said asap the next thing on my wish list is the Tom Ford padlock heels. Now, I'm looking online and I see that they come in a lot of different colors. They have black with gold, they have gold on gold, they have pink with gold, they have metallic silver, they have um, like a nude looking color with gold, they have a navy with gold, they, they just have so many different colors. They have white with gold. I feel like like i said i want to try to venture out of wearing black so much but i don't know like i don't know which one i want to go for i just know for sure i want the shoes but like i said earlier i just need to try to venture out of wearing black so much so i feel like i'm starting to move more into neutral colors neutral and gold so maybe i should do the nude ones with the gold hardware hmm and that's the picture of the ones i'm gonna put up so y'all can see those i think that's the ones that i want actually now that i think about it and now that i'm looking online most definitely that's the ones that i want okay 
I can just imagine those shoes with just so many different outfits because they're so sleek and cute and just like elegant and classy. They can go with so many different outfits. You can put it with a dress. You can put it with a skirt. You can put it with jeans. If you want to, you would got some uh, Wolford leggings. You can put it with leggings. Like, there's so many obstacles that you could do with those shoes. And then they're going to be new, too, with the gold. And all I wear is gold jewelry. So, it's meant to be. Now, this next item on my wish list, I'm not 100% sure, like, how to say the actual name of it. Um, or, um, yeah, I'm looking at it. And it's, I call it the nail bracelet because it looks like a nail to me. But it's the Cartier, the nail bracelet. I'm going to pop a picture up so y'all can see. Of course, in gold, you already know. But they really call it the Cartier Just a Un Cloud Bangle in, and then they got the color. This one is uh, white gold, but I need gold. And I, listen, I try to get the mimic. This is for my friend Christian. Thank you, Christian. I love you. And she gave this to me um right before valentine's day it was in the last vlog but i just love this so much because it just kind of reminds me of just like the cuff of the bracelet but i need the actual cartier bracelet okay the only thing is very much luxury and very much luxury price tag that brianna doesn't have right now but later on in life this wish list i'm manifesting and i'm putting it in the air that everything on this wish list I will have one of these days so when you see me pop out with the Cartier bracelet here on the U of the tube remember this video and whenever I get it I'm gonna put this video up and everything like I got my bracelet like what okay yeah I need that it's just so cute to me it's so sleek and it can go with anything um it's so What's the word that I'm looking for? It's just very versatile, I guess I should say. It, you can wear it with anything. It's gold. I wear gold with everything once again. And it's just a single bracelet. So you can layer it if you want to. You can wear it on its own. Like it just has so many different opportunities that it could get if it come home with me. So I need it. Now, this is something that is going to be real quick. Your girl wants a luxury apartment, okay? With this career change and with YouTube, hopefully, YouTube goes where it needs to go, okay? So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't and you're watching this video. But just a luxury apartment, something cute on my own where I have a nice little office and just decorate really nice and just have it really embody who I am and what I want it to be and just an apartment, like just a nice even if it's not like a super high-rise apartment, if it's an apartment that's decorated how I want it to, it's luxury to me at that point. Like, I'm living in an apartment, especially in today's economy, in today's day and age. Yeah, getting an apartment is going to be luxury. I'm going to make it over to be exactly how I want it to be, but just an apartment, just a nice, cute apartment. That's, that's what I want. This one might be basic, and a lot of people might already have this one. Um, a lot of people already have this kind of like in regular day life anyway, people that you just see in passing. But I really want the Chanel C, double C logo earrings. Like, I just feel like they're just so sleek and cute, and they can just go with anything. They have them where you can get them gold. But if I had these earrings, they'd be in my ear every day, okay? In the gold just need them they'll be cute for every day they're so super simple and just cute they can go with anything they're sleek they're elegant they're classy they're chanel like i need them i do and i've tried to see because a lot of people actually do um resell them like on resell websites so i've been thinking maybe i can just buy a pair from there but i just want to make sure that everything that i get that is luxury is authentic like i don't want to be gypped or anything so i'm gonna have to do my research more on how to see and how to make sure that they're 100 percent real but i'm gonna have to get some like this year it's gonna have to happen probably by the summertime i'll probably have some in my ear it'll just have to be that way now the next thing is actually um another shoe and it's the gucci platform sandals i want them just in the traditional 
pattern color everything i don't want nothing crazy so i can wear them with everything they'll be neutral they're brown and tan so that they can go with everything literally and i could wear them whenever i want to go somewhere if i want to go to the beach or something and i'm in miami with a cute little dress on and i got my gucci platform sandals on i can wear it then if i want to throw them on to go to the bar in the summertime I can put them on if I want to put it on with some jeans I can put it on like I just I need those shoes like they're just so cute with the platform the only thing only thing all right only thing I'm worried about is them being some ankle breakers because that platform there's no support on the ankle all right so I know whenever I first get them my ankles probably gonna be doing a little wobbly dobbly but I'll get used to it I'll get used to it. I need them. I need them. And you know, I wonder, I'm going to have to do my research more because I wonder if they're slippery on the bottom. Because have you ever had sandals, in particular platform sandals, that are slippery on the bottom? And it just feels like that you can't get grip of where you're trying to go. I don't want them to be like that. So, I need to do my research on that. But, I want those shoes. Now, these recently got added to my wish list this week. And that is the Chanel Rectangle Glasses. I seen them on Aaliyah. And her channel name is Aaliyah's Face here on YouTube. I'm pretty sure y'all know who she is. But she had got them. And I was like, oh my goodness. Those are so cute. And that's right up my alley with the type of sunglasses I wear. I like a big square rectangle glasses. If they're circular i want them big and circular if they're aviator i want them oversized like i just like oversized cute sunglasses and they're black and gold like it's just the the colors my colors so i i just and i feel like you don't even have to get dressed with them like if your hair is in a bun you ain't got your makeup done put them on and you go automatically look put together and cute and you gonna look like that girl like they're just so freaking cute and i need them thanks Aaliyah, for letting me know for opening my eyes for opening my eyes to things that i did not even know existed like those chanel sunglasses yeah they're needed most likely by the summertime the last thing on my wish list it would not be a brianna hardeman video if i did not mention a fragrance okay and y'all i haven't bought a fragrance in let me think the last fragrance that i bought was kaoli's vanilla 28 and that was about a month ago and i think it's about time for another one it won't be this one that i'm talking about now but i think it's time for another fragrance for something more spring forward spring summer forward which this just fits that description but I really don't know how to say this so I might butcher the pronunciation of the actual perfume but it's called Cassili Cassili it's by Perfumes de Marley okay this is the picture over here see and I now in the fragrance community Perfumes de Marley is very popular very well known um and I had went into the mall I want to say this is around two months ago and i did not know that the dillards had a parfums de marley stand in dillards and i was like okay let me try all the perfumes that the youtube be talking about i want to try Cassili. what's the other one the one in the pink bottle what's the name of it i can't think of a name right now but i want to try that and the intense version like i want to try it all and then i tried another one that was in a clearish bottle don't remember the name of it it didn't really sit with me but this one the Cassili, sat with me so let's go ahead and we're gonna go over the main accords in the fragrance so it's fruity floral sweet vanilla tropical fresh rose powdery soft spicy and sour the top notes are red currant floral notes and bulgarian rose the middle notes are frangipani plum patalia and mimosa and you know i can actually get that mimosa because the perfume was very like it had a sparkly essence to it like i don't know how to explain it it was very springtime but it was like pretty flowy like 
sparkly bubbly spring so I can get where the mimosa comes from and then the base notes were tonka bean vanilla and sandalwood y'all that perfume just embodied a springtime day where you just fresh out the shower you have on your light clothes and you just smell good you smell like a woman like it just I need it I need it and that has been on my wish list since I went to go look at that counter and oh Delina that's the name of it Delina Delina and Delina exclusive those are very popular within the YouTube community I didn't really like them they didn't really stand out to me at all but the Cassili or Cassili however you say it she's that girl and I need her I need her in my collection so she can go with her brothers and sisters over there like she just she needs to she needs to be here well you guys that concludes my luxury Louis list as of today I'm not saying it actually no I'm gonna let y'all know the wish list will grow because it grows every day I feel like when I see something new that's really cute I want to put it on my wish list so I can get it sometime in my life so yeah if y'all want a part two of the wish list whenever I compile some more stuff, like an add-on, let me know. Thumbs up this video and comment down below and I'll be glad to make that because your girl is just coming up on new things every single day. Well, that is all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and if you haven't subscribed by the end of the video and you like my personality, you like me, you like what we got going on here on the channel, subscribe. Because why have you not? By this point, like... Y'all are my best friends, so hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you won't miss another video. And follow me on all social media. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. They're all linked below so we can become best friends and message back and forth. And I can get to know y'all better. I'm just, let's get the community popping. Let's get it popping. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.